This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of Adobe Audition. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to move a project from Final Cut Pro 10 into Audition and then back into Final Cut. When you're working with Final Cut, or any application, we move media from one application to another using XML files. We use XML from Final Cut 7 to Premiere, Final Cut 10 to Premiere, from Premiere to Final Cut, all those transfers are done using XML. The problem is the XML that Final Cut uses is not the same version as Premiere or Final Cut 7, so we have to convert it. If we're going from Final Cut 7 or Premiere to Final Cut 10, you need an application available from the Mac App Store called Send to X. If you are going from Final Cut 10 to Premiere or Audition or other apps that need a Final Cut 10 XML file, you'll need a conversion utility called X to CC. Both are available in the Mac App Store, and because I'm going from Final Cut to Premiere, today I'll be using X to CC. Let's start with Final Cut. This is a dramatic scene, and I want to thank John Putch for sharing his footage. It's from his movie Route 32, and it is a dramatic scene of two women having a confrontation and then finally having a reconciliation. And it does the traditional soap opera fade to black. It's not a dry eye in the house. It's a spectacularly edited piece, if I do say so myself. Several things to point out. I've got sync dialogue at a variety of different levels. I've got sync sound of the car driving up and the woman getting out of the car. I've got music. I've got wild sound of dogs barking because she's outside. Why not? I've got a police siren passing by because I wanted to have something during their conversation and a clock ticking to imply that we're inside a house. How do we get this into Premiere? First thing you do is to select the timeline or the project inside the browser, go to File, Export, XML. And we're going to leave the name the same. I'm going to save it to the desktop so I can get rid of it in a hurry and click Save. That quickly the XML file is exported and we're done with Final Cut. I'm going to grab this XML file, drag it down to the dock and look for the icon for X to CC and drop it on top of the icon. It says, what roles do you want to include? Well, I don't want any video roles, so I'm going to say no. And with audio roles, I'm going to keep them all and click OK. It says, what are you going to call it? I'm going to call this Drama for Mix. And because it's got a different extension, it won't erase anything. And click OK. At this point, if you wanted to, go back to Final Cut and go up to File, Share. Let's do a master file. And we're going to go to Settings. I'm going to do, do Video and Audio. allows me to prove that. We'll do Fortitude Proxy. And we'll save it to the desktop and save. I've now exported the proxy file. We can watch this while the background is exporting. Now we're done with Final Cut. And we see that we have the XML file that we've converted and our movie. How do we get this into Audition? Select Audition, go to File, Open. All you have to do with an XML file is open it. It's in the desktop, and there's our XML file, and click Open. How do we bring in the video file? Command-I, because we open XML files, we import movies, select that. And with the movie imported, you grab the movie and you drag it anywhere into the middle of the timeline. This adds a single video track, because that's all you can have in Audition, is a single video track in the audio track. I don't need the audio track. Delete that. Grab the video file, drag it all the way to the left, and we now have the video added to the audio. Or how do we get it into Final Cut? Glad you asked that question. So how do I export? File, Export, Multitrack, Mixdown, Entire Session. I key it to Command-E. This opens up this dialog. I'm going to call this the Drama Mix because it is. I'm going to store it to the desktop because I'm going to trash it when this webinar is over. Wave is the perfect choice. AIF is also good. AIF and WAVE have the same audio data. 
just a different header. Video must always be 48K, Premiere Final Cut 48K always all the time. 16-bit, also an excellent choice. And stereo. And notice I've got open files after export checked and click OK. And in just a few seconds, it's got everything exported. Here's why I export it. There's my mix. I'm going to double click it to load it up into the waveform editor. And we can see there's a lot of sound here, a lot of different spikes, dialogue, music, sound effects. Here's why I do this. Go up to the window menu and select Amplitude Statistics. Amplitude Statistics does a technical analysis of my clip. Click Scan Selection. And in just a second, it says the loudest this peaks is negative 4. You want to make sure you have no clip samples, which means no distortion. It shows that my average sound is negative 19, so it's a little bit quiet. I would go back and pull the dialogue up, probably about 3 dB to make the dialogue a little louder, because this says that I'm a little bit below my LKFS setting. LUFS and LKFS is the same thing. Why should they use the same term? But it shows me that there's no distortion, and I'm well within the boundaries I need to be with the mix. Because I've got this analysis, which doesn't exist in Final Cut and doesn't exist in Premiere, it verifies that technically my audio file is ready to go. Let's pretend, hypothetically, that this is ready to go. I'll just pull it up 3dB by clicking here. Now when I analyze it again, okay, my LKFS is close enough that I'm not going to worry about it. I'm still negative below zero. I'm good to go. Save the file, Command S. How about Final Cut? Command I, open up the media import window. I'm on the desktop. Let's find our WAV file. Select the WAV file, click Import Selected. It now shows up in the project folder because I wasn't paying attention. So we'll take this, drag it to the audio. Not that I have to, but just simply because I can. Go to Drama Mix, put our playhead at the beginning of the project, edit it down to the timeline. There's our Drama Mix. I applied a role to it called Final Mix. That way I know where my mix is and where my source files are. Go to the index, turn off dialogue, turn off music, turn off effects. And now I'm ready to export this. And all I have is my finished video, my finished titles and my final audio mix. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 294. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.